I'm Ryan Brockington with the New Now Next Minute. Everyone is ecstatic over the Supreme Court rulings on Prop 8 and DOMA, and our friends have been joining us here at New Now Next, uh, talking about next steps, what they think of the rulings, and how this affects us moving forward. Our friend Wilson Cruz, actor and national spokesman for GLAAD, is here with us. Hello, Wilson. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm very good. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good week for us. Yeah, it's uh, it's a historic week. Uh, uh, we're all very excited about what has happened. I think you know. I think we're celebrating all across the country. But yes, I think that in California, we are um, relieved. Um, you know, it's. I, I remember being here uh, when Prop Eight passed, and it was um, as happy as we were about electing uh, President Obama. Those of us who were working on that campaign, uh, it was. Um, a difficult pill to swallow, um, mainly because we knew that um, marriage equality was um, getting more and more acceptance here in the state of California, and it seemed unfathomable that um, we would find, a find ourselves in the situation that we were. Um, so to have Prop 8 um, struck down, or at least passed back down to the lower court um, in order to be vacated at this point, um, so that um, same-sex couples can now get married um, is incredibly gratifying. And, um, you know, to have it happen at the same time when uh, Article 3 of DOMA um, has been struck down um, is, is quite the, the, the cause for uh, celebration. Definitely, and and being so close to GLAD and what and what they're doing and 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 sort of focusing on right now, what are the next big init initiatives on the GLAD docket? Well, you know, the thing about the decisions that came down uh, is that while we're you know joyous and um, and uh, about the enormous victory, we still have to keep in mind that there are still thirty seven states in the union in which uh, you cannot get married to your same-sex partner. Um, so on the docket is to continue to fight um, in those states so that everyone can enjoy the, the responsibilities um, and privileges of being in a, in a marriage. Um, that being said, uh, we also are part of a coalition of people who are calling for um, the passage of the Respect for Marriage Act, which will nullify the rest of DOMA um, so that um, all states will be um, allowed to recognize the marriages of other states. Um, so we're asking people to go on uh, respectformarriage.org and our own website, glad.org, um, to find out about the Respect for Marriage Act and to call for their legislators, their senators, their representatives in Congress to um, sign on as sponsors of that bill. Um, but, you know, above and beyond marriage equality, there are a number of issues that we have to fight for, which include um, employment, non-discrimination, um, you know, anti-violence, discrimination and from housing, and always keeping in mind that, um, you know, anti-bullying campaigns are incredibly important to LGBT youth. D definitely. I think there's... there's and, and we can't forget our trans brothers and sisters and the fact that, you know, that we're really not doing a very good job in the media in talking about trans issues. It, 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 it's, that is exactly what I was just going to say. So it's, I think we're on the same wavelength here. I think when we sort of spout off LGBT very quickly, there's that T that um, is, is not really getting the T, uh, and we right. really need to give it up for them in a way. Um, I, I and they're not really getting the T. Well, you know, the other thing that we're discovering here at GLAD is that uh, the education doesn't just have to happen uh, within straight society uh, or mainstream society, if you will. It also has to happen with our, within our own community. Um, there, are, there are members of our own community who um, aren't necessarily talking about trans issues in a way that is helpful. Um, and so there's a lot of education we need to be doing within our own community. Um, and, and, uh, and we're starting to do that now, and I think that's going to help a lot. Um, you know, we just had a meeting uh, here at GLAAD with, uh, with CBS about uh, their depiction of trans people on some of their programming. And um, it was incredibly... Um, uh, uh, successful meeting. They were, they were very receptive to our ideas um, and, um, and we're really appreciative. And that's the, those, those are the only, the, you know, GLAD is the only organization that can really have those 
um, those conversations in a, in a successful way because we have a history of having those conversations. You know, that's why GLAD was founded over 28 years ago because we were the people who, you, who went to the newspapers and the television networks to talk about how they could do better. Well, thank you for coming here to our network and, and, and giving a little bit more information on what you guys are doing. It's great to hear that there's that, that big initiative, and um, I, I appreciate your time. Again, uh, Wilson Cruz, actor and national spokesperson for GLAAD and our friend here at Logo. Thank, thank you very you. much. I love Logo. You know, I have a long history with you guys, so it's good to be back. Well, we love you, and please come back as much as you want. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Wilson Cruz. You are watching sure. You Now Next. I am Ryan Brockington. Stay here for continuing coverage of the Supreme Court's decision on DOMA and Prop 8 and how this is affecting us moving forwards. We'll be here celebrating.